whipped up some biscuits this morning and we're about to put them in the oven. The recipe is from Miyoko Shinner's Vegan Pantry Cookbook. And the biscuits are done. They look really good and they smell amazing. So we're off to the park again. The boys are riding their scooters. They're doing better this time. Practice makes perfect. And especially Garion. <laughs> yeah, Garion's doing a lot better. So it's pretty nice out today. It's like 66 degrees. Still feels kind of warm, you know, in the sun, but there's a cool breeze. It's nice. Seven balls plus five balls equals two plus balls. Why no? That doesn't have any sense. Ryan, you're my teacher. Teach me. What? Please. I want, to, I want you to teach me. Ryan. heading home from the park. We were there for about an hour. It's really, really beautiful out today. But my phone battery is dying and I need entertainment, so <laughs> it's time to go home. <laughs> Making the last of the leftover spaghetti for lunch and there wasn't enough left, so I'm adding in these uh, kale and quinoa bites that I haven't tried before, so hopefully they taste good with spaghetti. I guess I'm gonna find out. So I also added in some nutritional yeast and I'm gonna put some pepper, well I put some pepper jack and daya cheese in there. And I'm gonna use some of this veggie parmesan on top of it too. Should be tasty. Hey guys, so I came home from work last night and I got my package from Skin Owl. I ordered some more face moisturizing oil and I wanted to uh, share it with you guys because I decided to try one of the ones that um, they had sent me one that I did a giveaway with. That was the geranium oil, which uh, Fruity Foodie Amy won the free one of that. And um, I used it and I liked it and I decided I want to try one of their other ones. So I ordered the um, sage one. I forgot exactly what it's called. Clary Sage or something like that. So figured I'd show it to you guys. Because these are really good organic oil products. And they make your skin feel really awesome. Soft. And this came like I bought this and it came like in two days. I guess, yeah. That's right, I didn't even notice two day shipping, so duh, of course it would come in two days, right? <laughs> they package it really pretty. That's cute. <laughs> my oil for my face that I bought comes with this little card. It's really sweet and then it comes with a book that tells you about all the products that they have which I got the last time yeah it's called Clary Sage beauty drops this says for dry mature skin 
and I get really dry skin <laughs> and I have a hard time remembering to moisturize sometimes and so I think if I forget to do it every day and I use like my skin always feels really nice after I use the other geranium oil one so I figured since this is this says to uh, intended to smooth lines and rejuvenate rejuvenate aging skin so that's why I got this one because you know I'm in my mid-30s now <laughs> sorry I'm in my mid-30s now so I want to give this one a try for aging skin so let's see what it smells like It has a much milder scent than the uh, geranium oil one. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I have to like breathe in really deep to smell it. And the other one has a very potent smell. So I like this one. If you're sensitive to, like I'm sensitive to perfumes and stuff. So this is really nice because it's not too strong. It might smell stronger once I actually put it on my face, but. If I can't smell it that much out of the bottle, then it must not be too bad. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys and I'll let you know how I like it once I start using it for a few days. And that's it, my little beauty drops. We're at Fresh and Easy and we just found out our Fresh and Easy is closing down and we're really bummed out. That's really sad. We get almost everything here. Yeah, we buy a lot of stuff here. And I guess everything's gonna go on sale in the next couple days and <laughs> I don't get paid till next Friday, so I'm like, dang. Plus my freezer's already full. So that kind of sucks. Hey, it's all of them. Oh my God, really? Like, yeah, all of them are closing. In the whole US. Whole US. <laughs> That really sucks. I really like Fresh and Easy. We're looking in the whole entire UDS? They said they're all closing. I don't know if you can hear them, but all the stores are closed. No, California, West Coast, Nevada. So every everything in, in the every I'm not sure if they're, they're being bought out. Every? Oh, I'm really bummed out. That sucks. Weeks. Durian, so every friend... Our very last Fresh and Easy pizza. I'm so sad. So we ran to Hobby Lobby because I needed some more Sculpey clay to make pendants and stuff. And I had a bunch of stuff on sale, like 40% off, 50% off. So I went there to get this and I came home with all of this <laughs> for $50 later. So I wanted this cute pumpkin and this to go together as a centerpiece for our table for Thanksgiving. I thought that was really cute. And then this little dish was like 40% off of $3.99. Oh no, $7.99, sorry. And then I got these letters for Team Broccoli. Woohoo! <laughs> sorry, it's blurry. These were $5.99 and those were half off, I think. I'm gonna get some glitter spray and spray these and then I'm gonna hang them on the wall behind um, <clears throat> the wall in the office where I sometimes sit and film. Got some jewelry wire for making jewelry wrap stuff, and then I got this cool pumpkin and sunflower. I was gonna get two of these, one of them was teal and it matched the little bowl there, but then when we got to the checkout, it had chipped. And I don't know if we chipped it or if I just didn't notice it, but it had a chip, so they didn't have any more. So I just got the one, and this I thought this was really cute to put pumpkin pie on, and it would just be really festive and cute. So there, there's my Hobby Lobby haul. <laughs> cute, they have so much cute stuff there, it's ridiculous.